hello guys we are back with our next set of tutorials in this set of tutorials we will be completing the first unit of mathematics 3 that is functions of complex variables so today we will be starting this chapter and we will try to complete it as fast as we can so the first topic in this chapter is what is an analytic function in this chapter also the definitions are really really important guys and in this chapter there are two two theorems i think so yeah there are two theorems which we need to be perfect in okay let's initially go through this definitions and few problems okay basically analytic function if a function satisfies cauchy's riemann equations then it is said to be analytic function okay i hope everyone understood the definition if a function satisfies cauchy's riemann equations then it is said to be analytic function so our first doubt now is what are Cauchy's Riemann equations so Cauchy's Riemann equation let f of z is equals to w where w is equals to u in terms of x and y plus i into i into v in terms of x and y so now I hope everyone got a small idea f of z is a complex function to be clear ok so you will be understanding further in the problems guys don't get confused or don't don't be scared everything will be fine so case 1 do u by do x do u by do y do v by do x do v by do y these all are nothing but the partial derivatives of u with respect to x y of v with respect to x and y all these should be continuous functions of x and y and this is the first case and the second case is dou u by dou x is equal to dou v by dou y and dou u by dou y is equals to minus dou v by dou x so now i hope everyone is clear with the definition so now let us take a small example so shall I solve it okay just give me a second I'll be taking a piece of paper okay. I just took a piece of paper okay let us take the first example here it is given f of z is equals to z square so that he asked show that f of z is equals to z square is an analytic function or not that's what he was asking so basically we need to remember that z is equals to x plus i y ok so everyone please try to remember this guys this is really really important so let us substitute that so given solution given f of z is equals to z square where z is equals to x plus i y whole square now applying square x square minus y square plus 2 x y into i so this is the real part plus i into 2 x y is the imaginary part imaginary part is nothing but which has i in it is called as the imaginary part real part is denoted by u and imaginary part is denoted by v so i hope now everyone is clear with this so i told you that we need to differentiate u partially differentiate with uh, u with respect to x and y similarly v with respect to x and y let's do it partial differentiation of this with respect to y so let, let me write directly dou u by dou x is equals to 2x i hope everyone knows partial differentiation dou u by dou y is nothing but minus 2y next dou v by dou x is equals to 2y dou v by dou y is equals to 2x so what i did is nothing but here dou u by dou x so dou u i'll be searching for dou x means i'll be searching for x terms only in partial differentials we'll be using only if it is with respect to x if there is no x in a term here there is no x so this term will be constant so in the similar way for dou u by dou y okay this will be for x square differentiation is 2x we know that so similarly for y here x doesn't contain y so that's a constant we can remove it and this y square for minus y square differentiation is 2y 
okay so now for v 2xy so this with respect to x gives x will be going off and 2y will be the result similarly though v by though y y will become 1 and 2x will be the result so i hope everyone got a small idea so these all are continuous functions so now from the cauchy's riemann equations we should show that though u by though x is equals to though v by though y right here both are equal to 2x hence this condition is satisfied and let us go through the next condition that is though u by though y is equals to minus of though v by though x yes this is also true that is minus 2y so this follows cauchy's riemann equations this follows cauchy's riemann equations hence it is an analytic function so i hope everyone got a small idea on cauchy's riemann equations and analytic function let us go through one more example i'll be just showing you it in my book that's fine okay here it is given that show that f of z is equals to z bar z bar is nothing but x minus iy z is nothing but x plus iy z bar is nothing but x minus iy whenever we try to do for this here okay here there is no whole square that is just z bar so x minus iy here u is equals to x v is equals to minus y so differentiation of u with respect to x we got 1 with respect to y we got 0 v with respect to x we got 0 v with respect to y we got minus 1 whenever we try to check the conditions do u by do x is equals to do v by do y are they both equal no one is 1 and another one is minus 1 so they are not equal and let us check the next condition also do u by do y is equals to 0 and do v by do x is equals to 0 this condition is satisfied but one condition is not satisfied hence this is this does not follow cauchy's riemann equations so this is not an analytic function so i hope everyone got a small idea here there is one more problem which you can try it up try it out yourself okay basically differentiation of tan theta is equals to 1 by 1 plus okay let us take okay tan okay let us take this tan inverse x sorry i have told you the previous that is wrong tan inverse x tan inverse x is nothing but differentiation of tan inverse x is nothing but 1 by 1 plus x square into x dash that is differentiation of that x part so i hope everyone got a small idea on what is analytic function and cr equations so in the next tutorial we will be seeing about laplace transforms of this this uh, complex integrals so i hope everyone got a small idea on this thank you thanks for watching